Hi guys, hello and welcome back to another video right here on the channel. So, this is a new Evercade feature, which has been done by Blaze, the company that does Evercade themselves. And what they do is they do a thing called Game of the Month. So, on the VS and now on the EXP handheld, uh, you can download a monthly update. And what it does is it gives you um, a retro gaming indie title to basically play and try. So, like, you know, what the one I'm going to show you today is for April. Uh, and then, come May... I'll download a new update, that game will go away, the new one will go on, etc. Like that, we go all the way through the year, April through December. Um, so it's almost like Xbox Live, um, where you get like, you know, free games. Um, the point of it is the excellent indie collections, of which I've got Indie Games 1 and Indie Games 2. Um, they are showcasing the little games that are on that. So it's like a try before you buy. And I really, really wanted to bring this to the channel. Um, I've seen other Evercade channels cover them and I thought what a great idea you know so this is my my little take on it so what I'm going to do I'm going to give you a quick blip I'm going to drop down to the telly I'm going to show you this month's game which is absolutely amazing and then I'm going to jump straight back up um, after playing Donut Dodo and tell you what I think about it So here we go guys, no cartridge inserted, so we just come down to VS and we have, because we've downloaded it, it appears here, Donut Dodo. Okay, game of the month, April. <laughs> this game is just insane. So you like this little chef and you basically controls the left and right and just jump and you go up and down the ladders and you just got to run along, collect these donuts and the game is just insane. The pace is just insane. It's it's just it's absolutely bonkers. It's so addictive. It's like you're gonna get caught out time and time and time and time again, but you're just gonna keep on coming back. So like Donkey Kong, the idea is to get up to the um, up to the top after collecting these donuts. So obviously Donkey Kong, you go along and you jump over barrels and stuff. This one we are collecting, but it's just it's absolutely insane. It's just possesses so many traits of Donkey Kong, it's unreal, like, you know, you've got to choose your route, etc. Um, yeah, just, it's one of those games, I recently saw somebody playing it and he made a fantastic point, it's really hard playing it. <laughs> and, like, trying to describe it at the same time, so we managed to collect all the donuts, we go up. Oh, yeah, we've done it. I was going to say, you've got to beat the dodo to the donut at the end. But yeah, this is just, if this is what's to come, then we are in for such a treat, it's unreal. Okay, and they, they just get trickier and trickier, they really do. But it's one of them games, like I say, that I was playing it for like about an hour yesterday and I got undone so many times, it was unreal. But I just kept on coming back. See what I mean? <laughs> it was so easy to get undone, but you just keep coming back for more, which is a sign of like a really fantastic game. Don't you come up, you little... There we go. It's so hard because like everything has a pattern and you're trying, like, you're trying to memorise where everything goes, why they go, how you do it, how you get over and just absolutely all sorts of insanity. I need to get up here, oh, I need to get up here, go over here, don't you come back, there we go. Up. Now the mad thing is you can actually go over this little chain here, you don't actually get penalised for it, which is nice but it's time that jump down there. You know what, folks? I'm actually doing a lot better than what I've done before uh, starting to play the game here. Oh! Here we go. Back up there. Let's, oh, I think we actually just got to jump catch a donut. <laughs> I've been a typical donut. I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Got it. So what do you all think of this? I, I could just play this all day. I absolutely... It probably comes across in my voice. I adore this game. Proper old school goodness. Now, I've never played this level, folks, so <laughs> you'll have to excuse me. I couldn't get off the last screen there yesterday. Get up there before we make that jump. I don't trust that. Oh man, 
another yolk was there. Oh, there we go. No, 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 step off, step off. Yes, we got it. <laughs> oh, my word. Candy store crush. I've got a feeling that this is where the video ends. But let's have a look. Very reminiscent of Donkey Kong Jr. with the ladders there. Anybody uh, old enough to remember that one? Where do we go? Oh my word. Cherries. Oh, I see, yeah, we're going up, aren't we? Oh my word. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, guys, and go back up top. Oh my, what an absolutely wonderful little game. Just gives me oh, just Donkey Kong vibes all day long. Tricky as hell, cute as hell. You just want another go. If this is what's coming on the Indie Heroes 3 cart um, January next year, I cannot wait. Okay, guys, thank you for that. I just want to jump on and keep you up to date with the game of the month from the Evercade. Like I say, this will be repeated every month. Comments down below. Have you played this? I think it's available on Steam, maybe on Switch, I'm not sure. Join me next month when I reveal, or more importantly, when Blaze reveal the next game of the month.